Hey there you guys. All right, so this video today is one that you guys actually requested. So last week I asked on my Instagram what kind of videos you would be interested in and what kind of content you would like to see. And by far the most highly requested video was for me to talk about Trump and American politics. I know that a lot of Germans follow American politics and know what's going on in the States right now. So I thought, okay, I will give in and I will make a video talking about American politics and Trump and all of my thoughts about this topic. So if that interests you, keep watching. First of all, my cat is playing behind me. So if you hear any sort of like rustling noises, oh, where is he? He's somewhere back there. If you hear any rustling noises, just know that that's what's going on. Anyway, you wanna say hi? Say hello. Okay, you can go play. All right, so let's just get straight into it. First of all, right off the bat, I feel like it's important for me to just say I'm not a Trump supporter. I am a Democrat and I always vote Democrat. Even if Trump wasn't the person in office, I would still be a Democrat, if that makes sense. I don't really think it's important to get too into the details of why I didn't vote for Trump and why I don't support him. Because I'm a Democrat, I feel like that's somewhat obvious. But I will just say that I'm trying to find a way to say this without getting like really angry because this entire topic honestly makes me pretty frustrated. And I'm really sorry if this video kind of becomes some sort of rant because I don't really think it's important to go over the factual evidence of why I don't support Trump, but more so just the personal reasons why I dislike him. I guess the first thing I would point out is simply that I believe in equal human rights. I genuinely just believe that all people, no matter their sex, gender, race, color, whatever, it just, it doesn't matter to me. Everybody should be treated equally to one another. And I don't just mean we should have equal rights. I mean that we should all be genuinely kind and loving to one another. And that's kind of problematic when you have a president that doesn't really stand by that. Or even if he personally would believe that we should all be equal, he certainly doesn't tell his supporters or the people of the country that we all should be treating each other equally. On top of that, I really just think that no president should be allowed to lie to the people of the country. Like, I just don't understand how the president of the United States can pop on Twitter and start tweeting these really, really disturbing and nasty things. It's pretty horrific that the president of the United States genuinely spews out such garbage, doesn't believe in real science or factual evidence. I just find it like really disturbing. And not to mention all of the women who have come forward to tell their stories about the really incredibly gross and inappropriate things that Trump did to them in the past. And not to mention the super freaking creepy things he has said about his own daughter and her looks. The way that this man talks about women is just so beyond disrespectful, it makes me sick. Now, I think it's important to point out that I by no means believe that any president or chancellor is all perfect. I know that Obama wasn't perfect and some of the things he did were not amazing. And I also know that Angela Merkel is not perfect and amazing in every way. But putting policies and government decisions aside, putting aside which party you, you know, stand for and support, the head of a country should be representing their country and representing their citizens in a way that is not absolute crap, basically. I might not think that everything Obama did was great or everything that Angela Merkel does is perfect, but I can sit here and say that both of these people at least are presenting themselves in a way that makes you feel like, oh look, this is actually a pretty good person. Or at least this person actually cares about all the people in this country and wants to make it better. You can sit there and say that you don't like Angela Merkel and you don't like her policies and you don't support the party that she stands for, but you can't say she's been mean or rude or disrespectful or hateful and that I think is sort of the main issue with Trump. Yes, of course, I would still be upset if a Republican would win because I'm a Democrat, but at least I would hope that the person that represents our country would not be such a freaking 
terrible person. I genuinely get really embarrassed and ashamed when people ask me, oh, so did you vote for Trump? And I know that people in Germany are just curious because it's something that they're not a part of and I am. And at the same time, I just wanna like slap them and be like, do I look like somebody that would support Trump? I know that they can't know, but I can't help feel so embarrassed and just horrified that people would actually wonder if I would support somebody this terrible. So many of you guys already know that the first presidential debate happened last week and I forced myself to watch it knowing that it would probably be painful and it was. It was terrible to watch. Before the presidential debates, both parties have to basically agree. I believe they have to even have like a signed statement or something that basically says they will follow the rules of the debate. Just like you do when you're 15 and you're in the debate club in school, you know, you follow the rules of the game, basically, of the debate. And Trump and his people agreed to that, and he just went into the debate and broke all the rules. And not only did he spend the entire time interrupting Biden, every single thing he would say he would interrupt him, he was also just throwing nasty comments and mean digs at him, and it was just like, really hard to watch. I mean, I genuinely felt so frustrated by the end, I was like, had my hand in fists because I was just so mad. It was just a perfect representation of who Trump really is and what he's really like. I don't really think that anybody was really surprised by his behavior, but still, it was hard to believe, kind of. I know that's sort of contradictory, but I think you get what I mean. So I guess I'm kind of done with my rant, basically. I know that this maybe isn't exactly the video you guys wanted. If you really want to hear like real facts and evidence about what's going on in American politics, this is definitely not that video. This is just my opinions about it. There's plenty of other people, plenty of other news outlets that make a lot of really good content about that. So if you didn't enjoy my rant and me basically just complaining essentially, I'm sorry. But if you did like this video, please hit the like button. If you didn't like it, you can hit the dislike button. It's good for me to know what kinds of content you guys do and don't enjoy. And if you do follow American politics or you have any opinions about the political system or about Trump or Biden or any of this, please comment down below and let me know what you think. I find it really interesting to hear the perspective that Germans have about all of this because they are sort of on the outside looking in. And once again, I am really, really, really thankful, so grateful to be able to be a part of this country, to live in Germany and to be a part of the system here. I feel supported and cared for and that right now is honestly a real privilege. All right, you guys, so that is it for me in this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, kind of, I guess. I hope it was at least entertaining, basically. Um, but yeah, I guess that's all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.